Uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to uh, talk about a topic you all know a little bit more about. We're going to be talking about immigration from Mexico. So uh, Mexico is going to go through a civil war. This is going to be known as the Mexican Revolution. And that's going to begin when Mexico's president allows wealthy landowners to take over the lands of 6 million Native Americans and 8 million poor farmers. Uh, so landless farmers are going to rebel in 1910, led by people like Pancho Villa. And this is going to break up those large land holdings, and they're going to be able to give land to those impoverished families, uh, those poor farmers. So uh, soldiers for the Mexican government are going to attack these villages and kill thousands of these uh, poor farmers known as peasants. So this Mexican revolution is going to drag on for about 10 years. And during that time, about half a million Mexicans are going to move to the United States between 1910 and 1920 uh, to escape the Mexican Revolution for safety. Uh, and many did so without passports or money because in, you didn't, in, for Mexicans, you didn't need a passport to come to the United States. Same with Canadians as they shared a border. So Mexicans were welcomed by many American employers. Uh, the expanding railroads, large-scale farms, and ranches in the southwest depended on laborers who were willing to work hard for little pay. So employers looked to Mexico for new workers after Congress banned Chinese immigration with the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882. Uh, one Mexican construction worker said, Where I come from, I used to work 10 hours for $1.25. Then I came here, the United States, and they paid $125 for eight hours. It was good. So as you can see, things were not that much better in the United States. But compared to Mexico, uh, things were a little bit more safe in terms of no civil war and uh, making a little bit more money than they would have. Um, and if you look in these pictures right here, uh, you see we have Mexicans um, immigrating to America. This is like a border crossing. Uh, you can see a ton of them are trying to get to the United States. All right, let's continue. So some Mexican immigrants found employment with railroads, mines, factories, and canneries where they would can food. But most found work in farming. Mexican farm workers moved from region to region, harvesting crops as they ripened. They picked oranges in California, almonds in California, apples in Oregon, and cotton in Texas and Arizona. Then they would move on to sugar beets in Colorado. Farm work paid very little. Farm workers sometimes moved to nearby towns after harvest season. Barrios, or Mexican neighborhoods, sprang up on the edges of cities near such farming areas as Los Angeles, California, and San Antonio, Texas. Food stands and grocery stores in the barrio offered familiar in taste and smells of back home. Uh, the barrio filled was, uh, was filled with singing and dancing. Many Mexican Im immigrants planned to return to Mexico after the revolution ended. Uh, this was encouraged by whites who believed that Mexicans were taking their jobs. As you can see, this is something that um, a lot of people say today. Uh, it's nothing new. This was still said back uh, in the early 1900s with uh, Mexicans taking jobs away from Americans uh, because they're willing to work for less money. And this led to a lot of Americans not uh, are showing prejudice towards these Mexicans. So Mexicans who stayed in the United States often faced prejudice compared to whites. Uh, they earned very low wages. They earned less money. And they had very little say in working conditions until Cesar Chavez comes around in the 1930s. Um, not many Mexican farmers are involved in working in labor unions. Uh, many Mexican immigrants stayed, though, despite these problems as they hoped for a better future in their new homeland. And as we can see in these pictures, we have, um, uh, these are pictures of uh, Mexican uh, migrant farmers who would kind of move around with the crops to take jobs as they see fit.